Santa Barbara County public health experts say the next three weeks are critical. News Channel 3's Ryan Fish joins us now live from outside County Public Health headquarters. And Ryan, what more are they saying? Well, hours after this new stay at home order was announced last Thursday, we spoke with County Public Health Officer Dr. Henning Onsorg, and he says Santa Barbara County was already trending towards a stricter lockdown. The new stay at home order is here after Southern California dropped below 15% intensive care unit capacity last week. Public Health Officer Dr. Henning Onsorg projects Santa Barbara County would have hit that mark on its own within weeks if there was no lockdown. There are more than five times as many COVID patients in local hospitals now than there were a month ago. It's a drastic measure, but I think um, the nature of this is that if you wait too long, it's useless. From a practical perspective, I think it's a reasonable approach to do it regionally rather than piecemeal 58 different counties. Everybody does something different. There's so much mobility between the areas. Onsorg hopes the new order can reduce new case rates by 30% and ease ICU capacity enough to lift the lockdown and that three weeks may be enough time to do that. I think it is actually possible and um, it depends a lot on how seriously people take this. The more people adhere to it, the faster we will get there and three weeks can make a heck of a difference. Now, this is going to be very challenging because, because we're going to hit Christmas and Hanukkah and the holiday season. Traveling and visiting family are normally holiday hallmarks, but Ansark says people should avoid them this year. No traveling, no weekend trips up and down the coast, and no mixing and mingling, no backyard parties and things like that. That is when you really have an effect on the virus transmission. Dr. Onsberg says this upcoming weekend, we should know the full extent of the virus spread in Santa Barbara County over Thanksgiving break. And local hospitals and hospitals in Southern California are already sharing the load. A couple of weeks ago, with very little room in Imperial County, two ICU patients from there were actually sent up here to Santa Barbara County where they're is still ICU room but that's uh, changing by the day. Reporting live in Santa Barbara County, I'm Ryan Fish, News Channel 3. All right, thank you so much, Ryan.